Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Just hanging out in my storage room, and um, I'm being honest, I'm kind of in the mood for some shenanigans. So, if we pop into Freecam, and we just go straight this way, you may notice that it ends up in Hypno's storage room. <laughs> now, earlier in the season, Hypno was a, a little upset that I built a bridge that led into his backyard. And, uh, you know, I, agree, I graciously agreed to tear the bridge down and get rid of it. But I did not say that I wouldn't build a tunnel that leads into his storage room. That's still fair game, I think, right? He didn't specifically say I couldn't do that. I think I have some digging to do. This is like um, uh, what I call what I call um, part of my TerraCorp um, cylinder. It's a modular thing that's <laughs> landed here. I like the idea of <laughs> mixing like a modern space take with like organic, Help you me know, him. um, you know what I mean? Yeah, oh, maybe like imagine. some rings. Ooh. Kind of like around it, you know what I mean? Not, but maybe, that's kind of what the serpentines are gonna do, though. But like, not even the, necessarily connected directly to it, other than maybe in just like a couple spots. Like you could have sort of like a, um, um, I'm trying to think. Like, like, is this how, how nerdy this right? are you when it comes to science fiction, Iskal? Oh, I I love sci-fi. So you know the ships that have sort of like the rotating ring to provide gravity. In science oh, fiction, yeah, yeah, yeah. like a couple yeah, of those like the... kind of around the middle. And then you could also do like the little, uh, the particle stuff, you know, the debris that they pick up along the way. Like you could do some of that... those like on the ring too. That's a great idea. That's what I was picturing these were. False is griefing, but that's what I was picturing these uh, purple <laughs> and uh, Wait, what? orange ones. No, was. you asked me how, how many blocks I wanted to add. This, um, I, haven't, I haven't given you an answer yet, right? I did not ask you that for this. You said no. You were the only one to say no. Yeah, but what number is no? You don't know. It's infinite. I see. I like that, Wells. I like that. And maybe... What blocks would you use, though? Um... Maybe something, like, metallic? I don't know. That one's tough. Um, But it would... But th then you'd have, a like, more of an interesting shape as well, instead of just being, hey, like, a cylinder. Better. You know what I mean? Like you'd have See, that's some. more organic. Well, that's right. It almost looks like a tree. Wrapping around like vines, right? Yeah, kind of. I mean, if you, you know, in your head, replace Good. all the blocks with different blocks. But yeah. Uh, maybe like a little bit of some sort of light source on like the inner part. So they kind of glow a little bit. Oh, maybe. <laughs> like yeah. colors blocks. You know, I do something along those lines. Yeah. But I, I think you should call it the, the SC6000OD. But they're all over oh. the place right now. I'm trying to get my storage system. What's the OC, OD oh standing for? Of Doom. Those? It's you. Of Doom. Oh. Ren. Wells Knight has named the thing. Yep. Go on. It's the SC6000OD. It's the space Beautiful. cylinder 6000 of Doom. Of Doom. It's perfect. And also, can we include uh, Terra Org in there? Break a bottle of champagne SC. on it. It, it would it's be ready like for the its maiden it, flight. It would be like the Terra Org SC six thousand OD. There we go. It's Perfect. not bad. It's not bad. Wait. Short the t the tood. <laughs> <laughs> More like the turd. Falls. I get the feeling that you don't like this thing. Honestly. No, but, but I, uh, I appreciate the, we... I appreciate the input for uh, the space uh, s cylinder. S s the space uh, cylinder Terra Org Star Thing Two Thousand, Six Thousand. Six Thousand, thank you. Oh, Six thousand, yeah. Of mm -hmm. Doom. Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> What's that? This was your Doom. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh, yep. that was your Doom. Yep. That's all right. <laughs> Oh, don't remind him. Buy me. It's gone. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, I'm glad you guys like it. And I shall give you an update once I have the serpent, serpentine, the uh, purple and the orange sparkles. I would do this. I would do the sparkles last. 
Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I would do all the structural stuff first and then the, do the sparkles afterwards because you're going to end up putting the sparkles on all the structural stuff. I mean, honestly, I don't think it's far off. Like, I, I'm quite happy with the base structure. It's got a lot of texture and a lot of feel to it. It's a little bit too short. It needs to be taller. Well. I thought. Yeah. I think it's a little too flat at the moment. Flat. Yeah, but I think the serpents will, will help with that. I think they will too. But I think you need more than just the serpent. Uh, the serpentine sparklies to uh, to fix the flatness. Well, my friends, the tunnel is dug. It goes all the way over there. Uh, I did have to make it slope down a little bit for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, I needed to go underneath the lake or the river. And two, I wanted to be underneath his storage room when it was all finished. I didn't want to run straight into it. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's fine. Um, it's all good. Uh... We're going to decorate it and make it look pretty. It's not just going to look like this. That's why I dug out a little bit of extra space. Uh, but we need some materials. And I think I might actually want to use a lot of mangrove wood with this one. Now, thankfully, there is actually already a mangrove shop up here. Uh, so we should be able to purchase mangrove logs they are really expensive. Uh, they're five diamonds a stack. But to be fair, mangrove is a nightmare uh, to farm. Unless you have like an automated thing for it. How many stacks was this? Six? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Okay. So about 30 diamonds. Uh, but... Now we've got the mangrove for our product, uh, for our project. So here's the tunnel. Um, here's what I'm thinking. I think I want to go something like chiseled deep slate like this. Uh, grab some polished deep slate like so and make uh, some pillars. Something along these lines. Uh, and then the floor. I don't know what we're going to do yet for the floor. Uh, it's not going to be mangrove and it's not going to be deep slate. I haven't decided yet what it's going to be. Um, but that's fine. Actually, you know what? Come to think of it. I think I may have dug out. Well, maybe not. Maybe this is fine. I'm just trying to think of these pillars here. So let's leave a gap of like maybe seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? Nope, that's six. So it'd be like here. Do I want to go that route? And then have solid blocks here? That might be the way to go. And then the back... This is why I want all the mangrove. Oh, it's going to hurt, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> something like this is kind of what I'm leaning towards. Maybe we can go with like... Something like that. Just to kind of give it a little bit of extra shape. I don't know. I'll do uh, detail stuff later. I think I'm good with this pillar stuff, though, and then we'll just have to find a way to detail it. And we'll probably use maybe like glowstone or some some sort of block light in the center of each pillar uh, to shed lighting that way. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So I think for the floor, I want to go spruce planks uh, or spruce slabs, I guess. Uh, but in the tunnel... We're going to mess it up a bit. We'll add in maybe like some coarse dirt and stuff like that, just so it's not all the same. Maybe put some trap doors to give it a little bit of height differential and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but let's let's do this. Let's actually do just one chunk of this together, uh, because then it's basically just going to be the same pattern, just repeated. Uh, <laughs> so let's do part of this all together, and then I will just essentially rebuild it over and over and over again. Um, so we'll go here, 
Oh, just kidding. Here, here. And then pillars, put those in, and when we put in lights here, this won't be spawnable, so we don't need to put a torch back there or anything like that. Um, let's actually do two sections. So let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this actually works out pretty much Perfectly. Now, I will say I didn't like count out the um, the spacing on all the pillars and stuff or on the uh, the slope. I just kind of eyeballed it. So it's not going to be perfect. And that's fine. Um, let's go. Uh, here. And we're just going to try and make this transition work. And I think it should. Like, it should be fine. And then... There. Here. So something kind of like that. Like, there'll be a couple spots where it looks a little funky. But that's fine. Like... It'll be something along these lines. And then... Um, Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Because then our floor will come here. This will all still be the same elevation. And then right here is where it will step down. Like this. So we'll have just a little spot right here where it kind of pops down. I think that'll be fine. And then... We'll put in the mangrove. Uh, you know what? This needs to change a little bit. We, I think we still want this up at this level instead. Oh no! I have been disconnected from the server for no apparent reason. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, <laughs> that'll go here. Then we'll put these ones in. And then that should allow us to get the mangrove. Like so. And like so. Okay, good. Um, now... The other thing is we need to do our lighting. And I think what I want to use for this is glowstone lamps, which will totally work because we do have a spot back here. We can just throw a redstone torch like right on this block right here and then put a redstone lamp here. And I think it will end up looking pretty good. Uh, this also is in the wrong spot. That's going to have to come down to here. Uh, but that's all fine. So this is kind of what it's gonna what what it's gonna look like there, and then for some detail stuff, maybe we can go. So maybe we go like here, here, and here, and then do like a like kind of a pattern. And then we could perhaps even replicate that. How did we do it? Uh, this way. Kind of coming down from here. So it gives us kind of this, uh, kind of this interesting shape. Something like that could work, I think. And then maybe even... Uh, no, we wouldn't be able to put walls here. I mean, we could if we tore these out. Like, that would allow us to then put deep slate walls, which I don't hate the idea of. Let's give it a try. 
and see what we think. Uh, where's my deep slate? Deep slate. Let's just make a bunch of polished deep slate walls. There we go. And let's try these out. Let's see how this looks. Uh, where'd they go? They're in my hotbar already. Okay, no problem. Something like that. Uh, if we're going to do that, though, I think we need to get rid of this sort of upper part. And maybe just do like a single stair there. And then maybe we could do something like this. Uh, that's a little too bulky, I think. What if we did slabs? Uh, it's better. I think, honestly, I'd just prefer it with just the single stair, if I'm being honest. I think that's fine. I suppose the other option would be... to kind of go back to what we had here and then just put deep slate like this. Although, eh, that I, I don't love. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think this is fine. Something along these lines. It almost looks like the, the bat signal uh, from, from Batman or something. I don't know. Uh, but something like that could work. Um, let's go with that for now. Or what if we just did away with the top and did something like that? Yeah. Actually, that's not bad. I think I can get behind that and then maybe we just put some stairs there in the corner. Yeah, I think I'm good with that. Okay, so it was stairs in the corner, stair here, upside down, upside down, stair, stair, and then we just fill, we just fill those bits in, and then walls, right? That matches? Sure looks like it to me. Okay, so there we go. There's our design. And then there'll be glowstone lamps in the pillars here. I have changed my mind yet again. Uh, <laughs> I like this design much better because it actually allows us to do something with our ceiling block up here. We can put something up here. I don't know what we're going to use yet. Probably a slab of some sort. I, I might use spruce. Something like this. Uh... Something along those lines, perhaps. And then maybe even we change, like, these ones here to stairs or something. I don't know. I'll play around with the ceiling later. Uh, but the design itself is super simple. Uh, and I think it honestly looks better anyway. So we'll just grab some slabs. And then we'll grab a couple of full blocks. Oh, I just realized uh, those slabs are in the wrong spot. Full blocks go here. Slab, 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 stairs in the corners, and then on the other side, we just do the opposite. So, slab, 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 and then full block, and then, wait a minute, is this right? It's not. I did it wrong on this side. That would be why it doesn't look right. Okay, there we go. Uh, that also means we could do uh, full blocks up here of some sort if we want. Maybe we could do even like smithing tables or something. I don't know. I'll play around with it and decide what I want to do. But no, I was right. Uh, so it's walls like this and like this. And then here we just go across and 
like that. There we go. So that's essentially the design now. So it'll be divided up into sections. Uh, for now, I'm just going to put spruce slabs here, but I think I'm going to end up using a different block when all is said and done. Uh, but yeah, that's the that's the new design. I like it much better. I wanted to have a, a straight edge along the side here to make the path definitely look three by three. Uh, it looked just a little too busy without it. Hello, Tango. Hello, Wells Knight. How are you? I am good. What what do I owe the, the pleasure of your visit? What's up? Well, you're just looking exceptionally beautiful this morning. <laughs> All right. What do you want? What do you want? Well, uh, uh, I think the real question is, what do you want? What do I want? Uh, well, where is it? <laughs> it it's, it's not in there. It's, it's right here. Ah, okay. Yeah, that'd be nice. This is the yeah. uh, redstone permit number two. Wait a minute, where's my... Oh, it's in my hand still. So that made me nervous. It consists of and, dispensers, droppers, hoppers, pistons, sticky pistons, crafters, and all skulks. Oh, all the yummy things. All, and I know that yes. you, you have redstone permit number one. I do. I do. Yes. Here in my hand. So let me ask you a question, Tango. What other permits do you have? What other permits do I have? I have light blue wool, chiseled bookshelves, glowstone... Sponge, shroom lights, and then the redstone. You somehow managed to have zero permits I'm actually interested in. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you'd have at least one glass. Oh, uh, that's a bummer. That's fine, though, but it's okay. It's okay. I have an alternative. Okay. So I like alternatives. So here's the deal. I am willing to give you redstone collection number two. Okay. But with two stipulations. Okay. Stipulation number one, I get to take whatever I want from the Redstone shop for free. Absolutely. At the end. Yes. Right? Yes. Yes. Stipulation number two, I get half the profits from the Redstone shop. From all the Redstone or just your side of the Redstone? From all the Redstone. Hmm. Because here's, here's the thing, Tango. I know. See, I've been watching your videos. Yeah. You, know, you may or may not know this, but I am indeed a fan. Oh, okay. Well, excellent. Good to hear. I know, that you have plans. The deal. <laughs> I, I know that you have plans to automate all of the redstone things. Yes, yes. So I, I know that you're going to be doing not a whole lot <laughs> once you actually have set automation set up. <laughs> well, I mean, I got... Okay, you're right. Probably not much. So Maybe moving the redstone so, over. So yeah. I'm, willing to give you to the, uh, I'm willing to give you this permit. Hmm. You don't have to give me any other permits in return. So I'm essentially sacrificing okay. my diamond permit. And you want to know what permits I have? I'll, I'll what tell do you. you have? I'll tell I you. I hear, yeah. I have one good permit, and it's the one that you want. Okay? I also <laughs> have ones? the illustrious red glass. Ooh. The wonderful light blue glass. The incredibly desirable stone. <laughs> the... Amazing magenta terracotta. Oh, and last but not least, uh, last but not least, bricks. Bricks is your best one. Yeah. 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 And I got that yeah. one in a tra I traded uh, Scar. There you, go. Uh, there you go. My Blackstone for his bricks. Uh, okay. And, and some help with my storage room. So basically what I'm saying is if I give you this, I have nothing else that's worthy of trade. Really. I got it. So, I got it. I got it. All right. So I need this when to be a moneymaker for me, Tango. <laughs> no, no, no. I get it. I get it. When you when you say take whatever you want, like I'm okay with you taking some, but I, you can't just like empty the whole shop. No, I'm not planning to do that. Is that clear? I'm not planning to do that. I'm just thinking like. Whatever you need for a project is there for you. That, yeah. That's exactly that's the what we're plan. Saying. Is okay. like when okay, I'm trying okay. to build a farm, you know, I don't want to, and I'm like, oh, I need, I don't know, 20 droppers. Like I want to just right. be able to go to the you shop just and just and take, take, take the stuff that I yeah. need and, and call it good. So. Well, tonight, you got a deal. Excellent. It's all oh. yours, buddy. You now have a okay. monopoly on redstone we will, stuff. We, you will make a hefty profit, and uh, I'll be good to my word about, about splitting it. All right. It'll be good for you. It's a deal. All right. oh. It's a deal. You're the man. best, Wells. You're the best. I knew you wanted it, so I figured we'd work something out. And this it's way, I, be a great I, get shop. To, I'm excited. I get to just sit back and collect money and sit not have to do anything. Money. Yeah, so, yeah, you're you smart. Know, I love it, it works out. Yeah. I might make a little bit less in the long run, but maybe not. 
who knows? Maybe it'll end we'll up see. being about we'll the see. same. We'll but, see. Uh, yeah. Certainly win, less win. effort involved. So um, wonderful. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm Works happy. This is great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad I could help. Um, Fantastic. Now I just got to figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of these five permits. But, I mean, someone would want them. There's people collecting glass. Yeah, people. that's. I feel like that might be my best bet is try to con- yeah. collect all the glass. But at the same time. Yeah. I don't know. I, who knows? I might have a shopless season. There you go. I might well, just do, do you even need one? Because now you just have, you're just like the rich landlord guy who just collects the money now, right? Exactly. Yeah. My thoughts That's exactly. That's pretty good play too. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, right. uh, pleasure doing business with you, Tango. I Absolutely, look forward to yes. uh, to seeing the profits from payment. the shop. And, yes, uh, we'll, as well. Yeah. And we'll be able to make use of the new fancy, uh, the the mail system thing. Excellent. Have you put your name in for, for a post office box yet? I have. They haven't gotten okay. back to me yet. I think there's a little bit yeah, of a waiting list. There's, there's phases. But, uh, it's complicated. Yeah, but I, I got to do more of it this week. Yeah. I, I think I have a spot for it. Perfect. Um, I think it's big enough. I'll have you look at it in a minute. But, okay. Uh, we'll, okay. We'll do that off camera. Uh, but anyway, Tango, thank you for uh, the fair trade and, uh, you know, enjoy thank your you. Redstone Monopoly. Thank you. Oh, yes, I will. Thank you very much. Well, my friends, this is it. The tunnel is done. I did go with smithing tables uh, for the ceiling. I thought it actually worked really well with the mangrove. Uh, kind of a darker shade of red. Uh, went with the glowstone lamps for the wi- the wall uh, lighting. And I think that worked out great. Uh, funny enough, behind one of these is uh, Hypno's mine shaft. <laughs> so he, he may notice this before he comes into his storage room. I guess we'll find out. But then, because I wanted to be such a thoughtful, considerate neighbor, I I tried to blend, you know, I know he's using a lot of quartz uh, in his house, you know, a quartz stair here. So I decided, yeah, let's let's make a staircase that leads up uh, out of quartz. We'll uh, we'll we'll start using his uh, materials and kind of transition it. Uh, Also, I know how much Hypno loves it when things aren't centered. Uh, you know, he really enjoys asymmetry. So rather than centering the staircase on the center of the room, I I, I moved it. You know, I, I was very happy to learn that the tunnel uh, comes out one block to the left. Uh, I'm sure he will love that. It'll be great. Um, but yeah, I, I hope he likes it. I, I hope he embraces, uh, you know, us having a, a connected base from here on out. I I don't think he'll really care that this is in the middle of a storage room, but, uh, well, I guess you'll just have to go watch Hypno to see what happens. Guys, that is going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.